right so click on create new and go to print click on a4 size we'll be using a4 size so now go to this place and rename your project so for this project we'll be calling it wedding jota so that's the name we'll give it so leave your size the way it is go to orientation and change it to landscape then go to the resolution leave it at 300 and go to create to create a new project all right so we have created a new project go to um, view so at this view we will add in uh, a new guide so click on new guide to create a new guide so now we'll start with the horizontal guide all right so in the position type in five percent okay and click on ok so you should have the ruler line there so go back to view again click on new guide and type in 95 percent which we serve as the down horizontal ruler so if you should go down here you can see our ruler there so go to view again click on new guide and type in now we are creating the vertical guide type in five percent to set that guide go to view again and click on new guide so this time around type in 95 percent which we serve as the uh, right hand guide all right so we have gotten that so now we are creating the middle middle guide which we divide the page so click on the vertical guide and type in 50 percent with which we divide the page so we are trying to um divide the page so that we can have the front and the back so go to guide again and go to vertical guide so now type in 55 percent okay so we can have the middle ruler and then we have the uh, left hand guide and this uh, right hand guide so that's what we are doing now so type in 45 percent and you should have okay you have something like this so now go to your rectangle tool pick your rectangle tool just like this and select and draw over the um so um listen now so the right hand side will be the the front while the left hand side will be the back of the jota so draw it over like this over the left hand side I have something like this so shift it to the um to the left hand side duplicate it by holding alternate on your keyboard and duplicate it then go to your layer panel and change the color to white so you should have something like this so you can zoom it out by using ctrl plus on your keyboard so go to your layer panel um select the front and group it by selecting it and pressing ctrl g on your keyboard group the first one then group the second one also so we call this down one back then we call the front one front so you should have something like that okay so open the front uh, group then go to file and place embedded to bring in the elements that we want to use for this design so i'll link them in the description of this video so that you can follow up all right so you can scale it down and place it to the uh, right hand corner of your design just like this just follow what i'm doing on the screen okay so you should have something like that so now we are going to duplicate it you can either right click on the layer and duplicate it or you hold alternate on your keyboard and duplicate it so duplicate it and shift it down just like this okay so you should have something like this so if you see you can see that um the layer is extending away from our distance so now what i'm doing i'm click maxing it so i let the three of them and ctrl g and keyboard to group it so we'll call this one background okay after this you should have something like this all right you have something like this so go to um, your rectangle to pick the rectangle to to draw a rectangle uh, like this so this rectangle we will place our um, image inside so you should have the first right rectangle like this so duplicate it by holding alternate on your keyboard and click and drag so you duplicate it until you have three rectangles like this so um align align it perfectly you can hold the three of them and drag it so you can align it align it perfectly just like this okay so you just align it perfectly so we should have something like this okay so if the size is too big for you you can reduce the size
go to your place embedded your file to place in the first image that the couple image so select the image and click on place to place the image onto your design so this is the image you drag it over to the shape you want to place it in and go to your layer panel place it over the image right click and click on create create clipping mark so that you can clip it inside this shape so now hold the um control to your keyboard to bring out the transformation to then reduce the size just the way you want it to be then click on the check mark there to confirm that transformation so do the same thing to the um, other three images do the same thing so i'm rushing the video at this point so do the same thing to the other three image and after that you should have something that will look like this okay so now you should have something like this so go to your layer panel select all the images layers plus the shape and group it so we'll call this group now we'll call it images so it's, it's a it's a very good thing when you rename your you uh, organize your layers into groups so go to your rectangle to pick the rectangle and draw it at the downside just like this so you should have something like this so you can change the color from here by double clicking inside the uh, layer thumbnail so you change the color to this color you can use the color on the screen if you are following up with me so you should have something like this so place it very well and align it perfectly to your own taste now reduce the opacity to around 96 percent 91 percent okay so have something like this so now we want to write the text so go to your toolbar pick your text to and um, go up here to change the font to for this font we'll be using poppins to change the font if you don't have poppins on your um, device you can simply go to google font and download that so we will be using poppins for this font so click to write your text so i'm going to write my text just like this increase the uh, font size so i'm going to write my text like this so this will serve as the date of the event so we just want to place it at the bottom side so select and drag it over to the shape we draw at the bottom side so go to your character tool go to your character tool to change the color to white then close it and we can scale it up using ctrl t to scale up to bring out the transformation to, to scale up so click on the check mark when you are done okay so you can highlight the date alone to change the color to create a variation between the date and the other text so we can we can change the color to yellow just like this so that it will look good so duplicate the text and change the color to black just like this so double click on the text to highlight it and change the text to the name of the compost which uh, the first one will be the email name so we are going to change it like this so ctrl t on your keyboard to bring a transformation and scale it up just like this so we have something of this nature so go to your character to to change this font so for this font we'll be using the um, trojan the trojan so i'll leave the link in the description for you to download this stuff so this is the font we'll be using so the name of the theme is uh, the center we are going to use this okay so you just place it there and duplicate it to edit it so change this one to the name of the man so you should have something like this okay all right so we have something like this so um, go to your layer panel now select the two uh, layers and go up here to align two of them vertically just like this so we can place it anywhere we want and select the two of them to bring out the uh, transformation to and scale it down to anyhow you want it so now we'll select the uh, down flower and shift it again away from the name so that it doesn't cover the name so you should have something like this so now i'm just going to arrange my uh, text and place them perfectly just like this so i'm going to duplicate the name I'm going to duplicate the name and uh, for this one i'll be writing the and symbol so that it's going to uh, match where so we'll be having the center and this other name which i don't know how to pronounce 
day. If you know how to pronounce, you can help me. So now bring it to the dance side of um, these two names. Then reduce the opacity to around, reduce the opacity and change the color so that it doesn't um, disturb the um, couple's name. Okay, so you just resist the opacity and change the color to just red like this. Okay, and you have something like this. All right. So now group the um, group them. Okay, arrange your layers like I always say. Arrange your layers into groups. So you group related objects. Okay, group group related objects. All right. So now we select the names and the uh, the names and we group it. Okay, so let like let's call these names all right so we are going to call these names so the next thing we want to do is to go to file and go to place embedded so we are going to be using the ring so we place the ring okay since it is a marriage um, something so we place this ring just like this so take it over to this side scale it down and take it over to this side and uh, confirm the the placing okay so we have something like this so if you can see the ring is just floating in the air so what we want to do is to add a little shadow under it so go to your layer panel double click on the layer then go to shadow to add a shadow just like this so you can use this setting that i have here so change the color to um, a darker color just like this and click on you should have something like this click on okay Okay, so we have something like this so you can reduce the opacity more to 38 and select ok so you should have something like this all right so we have um a cool something like this so you can just do some little adjustment to your arrangement and scale down what needs to be scaled and increase what needs to be increased so pick your text tool and click inside here to write a text so for this text we'll be writing celebration of love okay so i can't wait to get married so very soon i win and you will come to my ceremony so we are going to write the ce celebration of love just at the top side so you can change the color to black so that it match your arrange it perfectly so that it fits to the center of the page so go to uh, fire and place embedded so for this we'll be placing this object okay placing this object so you scale it down like i said the link to all this will be in the description of this video so you can go there and take download it and practice okay so if you don't practice you will not get better so you have to practice so you just place it um just exactly like this all right so for this we'll just try to arrange it so that it's um aligned perfectly so you can still scale down your text just like this and go to your text and add some spacing between the uh, letters so that i have something sweet like this okay so from the ideas you have from here you can use it on your other design so go to text and pick your text too so for this other text we are going to write the first um the the initials of the uh, corpus which is the man name and the woman's name so we will have ji okay so um, you can increase the size, increase the size of the text so that it is it will be more visible inside this shape that we just added. So we have something like this. Okay, so duplicate that and change the color to black. Okay, change the color to black. So if you can, we are going to use this other text to write. We are going to use this other text to write the um the name of this couple, which will be the uh, um, the three characters from the lady's name and the man's name just like this okay uh, to write something like this okay so place it at the down side so scale it down and change the font size so for this one we'll be using poppins poppins okay so medium size so we have something like this so you just try to place it very well and align it perfectly so you have something like this okay guys so go to your shape to pick your um, eclipse to pick your ellipse to and we have something like this just draw a small cycle circle like this so we can it will go, it's going to complement the name because the name just look as if it stands alone so duplicate it and place it on this other side so we should have something like this so guys you can see our design is coming to life so you can group your layers also and rename the layers so that if you send this to someone 
and maybe you come back later want to edit this you can have something like this so we are done with the front so we'll go to the black back now to design the back of this design so you can see my layers they just boil down to just two groups of layers so um select the shape and change the color to this color so if you want to follow me with my colors the color code will be on the screen but what i will advise when you are doing something like this pick colors from the clothes of the couples okay so that it's you can have something good okay so go to your text your shape to um, pick the hexagon shape go to this size and write six size so we want to write have six angles and uh, six points so we have six points like this so draw it and change the color to white so that it's going to be visible for you uh -huh. so change the color to white so we have something like this so you can scale, um, rotate it bring out the transformation to uh, rotate it just like this so take it up and scale it up to the any size you want do so just scale it up like this and it's okay like that okay so just scale it up and you have something like this so confirm the check mark and that's all so now we are going to duplicate it so that we can um uh, um get the format we want to use it for so duplicate it and bring it down okay so this is what you are going to do so we what we are going to do again is to duplicate make sure we al align it perfectly so you can just reduce it and place it very well so align it perfectly just like that so um duplicate this one by ctrl j on your keyboard place it to the left hand side just like this duplicate it again and bring it down just align it perfectly then duplicate it and bring it to this other side so what we are going to do now is to just uh, arrange it just like this so go to place embedded to place the images that you want to use for this design so so bring out the first image so i'm going to place this image inside the up shape okay place the image inside the up shape so you take it over to the shape you want to place it inside then go to your layer panel right click on it and click on create clipping mark so that you can have something like this so scale the image inside the shape so that it fits perfectly just like this so if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do it to subscribe and you should have something like this so select the shape that the image is inside go to your properties panel and add a stroke to that shape so we are going to add a stroke of 20 to the shape with a stroke color of white okay so um a stroke of 20 with a stroke color of white so you should have something like this if you can't find your properties bar you can simply go to uh you can simply go to your your windows and add the properties panel there so the video i'm going to rush this now um you are going to do this also so i'll rush it and add those other images into those other shape adding a stroke of 20 to all the shape just like this so when we are done we we uh, continue with the video so you should have something like this guys so is it not cool it's good it's cool so select all your images layers group them and name it images okay so if you have been following this video you have done well and do not forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel so that it's going to support us because we put in more effort to um create videos for you every day okay so the little you can do for us is to support us so now select your text to change the color to white and we are going to write uh, if you can see some jotters you will see thanks for coming so we are going to write thanks for coming at the bottom side which is serve as the appreciation so scale it up just like this and change the font so we just go to font and change the font okay we change the font so for this we'll be using a scripted font just like this so any scripted font in your on your device is fine so duplicate it and this one will be writing coming thanks for coming okay something like this so we'll just be creative here and um, do your own thing so we are going to add thanks for coming just like this so just do your own thing and um it will be cool so you can just rotate it slightly like this so when you are designing yours you just be create more creative and i would like to see what you can come up with send it to me on whatsapp my whatsapp link will be in the description of this video 
so just be more creative and send it to me let me see what you were able to come up with and if you have any su suggestion how we can move this channel forward what do you need to do you can leave it in the comment section i will be glad to see that from you so write the four and place it inside the circle so that it's going to complete our text which is the thanks for coming so change the color of this to black so that it's going to be visible on the yellow color of the circle so you can change the font to a more um, visible font for this we can be using uh, the poppins just like this so we have the thanks for coming so you're just going to scale it up and we have something cool like this guys is this, is this not sweet so we are almost done with our design but i just want to add something so go to your shape and pick your rectangle to just draw the white shape down at the bottom side like this so that um the back is going to shine so another way you can be creative with this you can add um so let's view it on full screen so let me clear the guys and let's view it on full screen so that i see what we are able to come up with so guys this is cool and lovely so like this video subscribe to the channel so that we can move forward so now you can save you save your design if you want to print you convert it to um, cnyk i have a video on that so convert it to cnyk and save it to pdf if you want to print it so we have something like this thanks guys for watching and we'll see you in my next video